take out the papers and the trash Or you don't get no spending cash If you don't scrub that kitchen floor You ain't gonna rock and roll no more yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go back Just finish cleaning up your room Let's see that dust fly with that broom Don't go back. You just put on your coat and hat And walk yourself to the laundry mat And when you finish doing that Bring in the dog and put out the cat Don't go back. Well, you guys... If you are a fan of dogs, this is how you're gonna feel when you see where we're going on our virtual field trip today. Okay, here we are at a sculpture called Sunspot. Isn't that amazing? It's made out of dog tags and wire mesh. Now take a look. So this piece was created by these two people on the right hand side, Laura Haddad and Tom Drugan. And if you look at all of their other pieces as examples, they make a lot of large scale sculptures, uh, some really pretty stuff. Um, sometimes they'll play with light a little bit towards the later part of their career, they play with light. They both live and work out of Seattle, but they did come to Colorado to make the Sunspot sculpture. All right, yes, yes, I know. I told you that if you love dogs, you would love this presentation. So let's get back to the dog. So this sculpture sits outside of the Denver Animal Shelter and uh, it was commissioned by them. So there's a dog pound right there. You can actually hear dogs barking in the background, usually when you're standing in front of the sculpture. I found this video of how they made it. It's a stop motion of how they did it. And it looked like it took a lot of people a lot of time. Wait until they actually start putting on the dog tags, individual dog tags, one by one. They start filling this thing. Um, it's over 20 foot tall and they used over 90,000 dog tags to make this thing. It sits just right side, just off of Santa Fe Drive. Um, kind of by where the old Gates Rubber Company used to be. So right here, they actually start taking a crane and start hooking it up to the actual base in the location that it is now. Um, so after introducing you to Sunspot, every time you drive past this, you'll know that it's called Sunspot, that it was created by the two artists, Laura Haddad and Tom Drugan. And of course, you cannot forget that every time you see that sculpture, you can't forget about how much you love dogs. Work together, you guys. All right. We'll see ya.